Isn't that Jean? Seems she's talking to someone. Let's let her finish, then go say hi. Which is what has brought us to this point in the first place. If you are unable to promptly deal with the storm terror threat, then leave the defense of Mondstadt to the Fatui. We can put an end to Mondstadt's dragon issues. All we need to do is bring that monster to the... <sighs> monster? Yes. What's your point? Uh... I'd expect a more professional attitude from your diplomats. Yet here you are saying you want to put an end to one of the four winds of Mondstadt? <sighs> I won't have any of this nonsense in front of the Knights of Favonius. <laughs> it's not as crazy as you make it sound. Fine. That's enough negotiation for today. At this stage, it's simply an amicable exchange of constructive opinions, no? I'll be sure to make thorough notes. Oh, you're back. Thanks for your help. The elemental flow is finally stable. The aftermath of Storm Terror's last attack is finally settled for the moment. <sighs> However, the pressure from the delegation has become too big to be ignored. Delegation? From Liyue Harbor or in Azuma City? Shneznaya. They choose to follow the god of Cryo. Their envoys go by a particular name, the Fatui. Heard of them? Oh, them? They're super famous! Wait, infamous is more the word. I don't think killing Storm Terror is the right course of action. The Cryo Gods Fatui have always coveted the Animo Gods' power. I don't believe they have Mondstadt's best interests at heart. What is it? Oh, let us head back to headquarters then. We shouldn't discuss important matters out in the open. Mondstadt and Snechnaya are considered the same in status. Mondstadt is independent and does not belong to any other nation. In fact, despite being referred to as a city, Mondstadt is a nation. Though, Snechnaya's Fatui are known to be the most aggressive diplomats in Tibet. Makes sense, given the tone of that woman just now. So rude. It's a crystal embedded with some kind of power. Lisa, are you able to analyze it? Let me take a look. Hmm. I can see impurities in the crystal, but upon further inspection... No, I'm sorry. I can't make a proper analysis at the moment. Give me some time. I'll take a look through the library's restricted section. Right. I'll leave the research to you then, Lisa. Understood. I'll notify you all if I make any progress. So I wouldn't go getting your hopes up. They were incredibly ancient texts, not to mention- Ouch! Gosh, that hurt! The impurities in the crystal- It hurts when I get close. Oh, I see. It appears to react to visions. The impurities and the elemental energy we embody repel each other. It's strange, though. You have elemental abilities as well, but don't seem to be affected in the same way. Anyway, the crystal would be better left in the hands of my cutie. It will just be a pain if left with us, both literally and metaphorically. Fascinating. Do you know anything about what makes you special? I do not know what to make of it either. Well then, the Knights of Favonius have another favor to ask of you. Please accept the title of Honorary Knight and the gratitude of the Acting Grand Master. Honorary Knight of Favonius? We ask for your continued assistance in finding some answers. <sighs> Storm Terror's rage and strange crystals. I know Mondstadt's peace hangs in the balance. May the wind open your eyes to the truth. We'll meet back here if you find anything. There's something you 
didn't tell them. The dragon and the crystal weren't the only things we saw. So you do remember him, that green guy. He looked just like that guy down there. See? See? Wait, hold on a minute. That... that's the same guy! That green guy disappeared! Use Elemental Sight to track him down. His footprints lead to this wall. Did he climb up from here? What is to be sung transpired in days of yore, when the Divine Archons still walked the Earth. A dragon cast his curious gaze on the world below, as he parted from the heavens that gave his birth. The dragon sought truth amongst common folk, but mortal trifles only fogged his mind. The wind-born bard strummed his strings dulce, and the holy lyre answered his questions kind. The dragon was but a child full of wonder, and soared the heavens free from care. The bard's songs invited him to sing along, for he yearned to let all perceive him fair. Enchanting legends the bard and dragon were, but the tides of despair soon engulfed the land. The lion fang perished, and the falcon flag slept, as a vile dragon approached Mondstadt in Rome's stand. Over the cathedral loomed death and his friends. Of the people's agony, the bards soon sang. The soaring dragon heeded his grave calls, and amidst the windstorms a brutal war sprang. Blood of venom sent the sky dragon into slumber. Only to awake to be expelled in abhor. Why do people in this age loathe me so? But the holy liar replied no more. Wrath and woe, vigor and venom, poured from the dragon's bitter eyes. The dragon's curse sprawled in silence, but the liar could no longer soothe his cries. You guys are... Oh, that's right. You're the ones that scared Dvalin away. Dvalin? Who's that? Huh? Oh, right! Most people seem to call him Storm Terror. Why do you call him that? Are you two meant to be close or something? Oh, so close. Hey, so... Paimon thinks this guy has a screw loose. Good day, Outlander. Seems we meet again. I'm Venti the Bard. Three-time winner of the most popular bard of Mondstadt, to be precise. So, what do you need from me? Given you recognize us, Paimon doesn't believe we need to explain any further. 
Of course it's about storm terror. Storm? Hey, cut it with the amnesia act. All right, show it to him. Oh, isn't this... What? The crystal has been purified. When? Tavalin, he... The anguish he feels has brought him to tears. Tears? He was once such a gentle child, now so full of rage and suffering. I also came across a teardrop crystal. Can you purify it? do have some wonderful abilities. Someone like you is going to end up getting written into a bard's poem. Oh, a hero so bright, should she stand in the light. Though stand in the shade, and you'll be met by a blade. Alas, I've really not the time to compose a melody for you at this moment. Anyway, even if Dvalin is not taken down, his life will still wither away in the breeze. He'll burn himself out in the flames of anger. Thank you for that, and for purifying the teardrop crystal. But I have my own plans for what is to follow. Oh? And what plan would that be? Seeing this tear has brought to mind a friend so dear. Friend? <laughs> One must be going! Hey, where are you running off to? To the symbol of Mondstadt's hero. Bye bye Huh. What do you make of that? As far as he's concerned, you're a weirdo too, you know. Know what? Familiar? I don't know. You're alone on that one. But did he just say symbol of Mondstadt's hero? One. You can't miss it. Surely you still remember. Oh? What are you doing here? Though I was just wondering if you would happen to follow me. You speak of the god of Animo, Barbados? He already disappeared from Mondstadt a long time ago. Liyue and Inazuma's respective gods of Geo and Electro are still present, but Mondstadt has seen many a moon since they last saw their own god. Why do you wish to know about the god of Animo? Does it have something to do with Devalin? Oh, uh, it's because gods... Um... Just how is it that everyone sees Storm Terror? I'm quite curious. That said, there's no need to rush. I have not been back in a while. It seems there are a few who are unhappy with my arrival. The wind... Open my eyes! What is a creature like that doing out here in such a calm place? You think it was going after that green guy? His relationship with the wind seems even deeper than yours. <laughs> seems the dragon wasn't the only thing affected by this change in the wind. Now then, you were saying someone had told you about the dragon? Is that so? Quite the scholar, I must say that, Lisa. She's not wrong. The conflict has reached this point only because both sides have resorted to the use of force. His hate, however, did not arise from the people not making tribute to the Four Winds. Nor was it born from his own nature, but instead came about as a product of his degradation. Degradation? The black blood flowing through his heart has been torturing him for years. That's what has allowed him to be led astray by the lies of the Abyss Mage. They are from the Abyss Order, an organization comprised of non-human beings. 
They despise mankind. I don't know where they come from. All I know is that they hold deep hatred toward the human world. Many hilly trolls out in the wild take orders from them and act as their weapons. Before arriving here, I too was like Dvalin, cursed and left to waste. But now, before us stands the symbol of Mondstadt's hero, the place from which Mondstadt rose. The wind amongst the branches is good. I love the way it smells. Being here with you beneath this great tree feels like when the tear was purified earlier. Like the poison is leaving my body. Mm, feels much better. So, how exactly did you get poisoned? Uh, that would be because I tried to communicate with Dvalin earlier, but was... interrupted? As a result, not only did I not manage to help Dvalin break his curse, but instead was also infected myself. Yes, it was you! So to make up for it, you're coming with me to the cathedral. The Mondstadt Cathedral? To do what exactly? To claim a certain holy liar de Hamel. <laughs> 